Hey folks, Quillyteen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Two Point Hospital. And in this episode, we are gonna go, you know what I just realized? I think we can, yeah, we can rename our hospital foundation. So obviously these are gonna be the the, the Waffle Hospital uh, Fund. Actually, you know what's gonna be the whiskey and chocolate, chocolate foundation. There we go. That's gonna be the name of our hospital foundation. Two things that guaranteed to make people healthier. So we're gonna go over to Flottering over here, learn about staff development and training. So we're still in like tutorial levels, which is kind of crazy. There's a lot to develop, to, to learn. Um, I am very curious about this staff development and training because one of the things I know when we have been promoting our staff, they've been getting an extra slot for a skill and I didn't know how to fill that yet. So clearly that is something we're gonna learnify right over here. To get the most out of our staff, we'll need to train and promote them. When someone has gained enough experience on the job and had some training, they will be ready for promotion. By promoting them, their skills increase and they're able to learn a new qualification. They might also want a pay rise. Firstly though, we'll need a training license. The Two Point Health Ministry has promised to grant us a license if we can demonstrate our commitment to staff well-being here in Flottering. Get hospital level four, hire seven staff, get staff morale to 55%. It's currently at a zero. We've got this landscape. That is a very pretty layout. I love these little houses too. Like they all look like they're made out of like plasticine, you know? Little clay. Ah, lovely. Totes adorbs. All right, well, let's get started. You know, we'll do a little different. Rather than have the reception be sort of straight aligned with the door, I'm gonna go ahead and build the reception room sort of over here. Please lower your Please lower your expectations. <laughs> I love these announcements. Can uh, that looks? Oh, that's not symmetrical. This I think is aligned. It doesn't matter in the sense, except that it matters more than anything else to get things perfectly symmetrical and aligned. So we'll get a little bit of a waiting area built over here. Um, I know there's no wall there, but I think it's still going to be fine to sort of, kind of create almost, you know, a, a, a notable area over here. And yeah, we'll, or notable area, like a defined area is actually what I was going for. Should we build a new salty snack machine? Build a new salty snack machine. We can encourage people to drink more after that. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. We are going to hire our first assistant to run reception. So, I mean, we've got someone with a lot of skills. Um, motivation is good, customer service. I mean, it's gonna keep people really happy. I don't know if we're gonna be training this person up, but Gerald Rascal, let's go and get you over here. Gerald, excellent. And I mean, I'm still gonna wanna build a bathroom. To me, that's still sort of at the front. That seems like the sort of thing you do there. So let's, I mean, there's another door here to another section, but let's build a GP's office here. Uh, that'll block the door. So let's say a three by three office there. Did she just say, oh no, it's happening again? <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Uh, we're going to probably level these up in a bit, especially since I'm sure that has an impact on staff morale. But I want to get a few things laid out first. Well, something like that, like that. Go. We are going to need to hire both a doctor and a nurse. Uh, we could hire a shrink right away, but let's go ahead and get this person. Diagnostic skill sounds handy. Let's get you in here. And uh, there's the ward training. Hey, well, we'll get we'll get Dirk in here. And you'll do that. We'll need a pharmacy fairly quick too. So rooms, toilets. So I'm gonna build another three by three unisex bathroom over here. A rotate you thusly. Excellent. And we'll get a sink and a hand dryer. And I guess we want a bin in here as well. There we go. Excellent. I actually got it to level two. Isn't that swell? I don't know if there's quite enough room for a pharmacy over here. Three by three. It's gonna overlap that doorway. That is double plus on good. Well, maybe we'll do something else with that space. Boom. Pharmacy is done for some of our early diseases. Let's see, what else can we do? We can get our benches going. Excellent, see that makes that person happy right away. Let's, let's make sure there's a little source of entertainment right here. We don't have any fire extinguishers yet. I'll put one in this room. Excellent. And people seem to get thirsty a lot. I'm gonna get another drinks machine out here. 
We need a nurse right now. The nurse is hanging out here. Oh, there is someone that that is there. I'm sure the nurse is going to move back and forth as time goes. But these are very fancy nurses. We could wait for someone else, but let's go ahead. Ah, we need a ward for Bedface. No problem. I want to build a big one. It, first of all, I think a big ward just looks good, and it does let us serve service a lot of people at once. We'll get the ward entrance over here and build the nursing station. Uh, we need room for them to walk in. Actually, just like that's gonna be okay. There we go. Rotate this way, so you've got the same foot spot. I mean, this may cause some walking conflict sometimes, but it seems mostly to be... Oh, that's it. I can't put one here though. Let's do it, excellent. And done. Ward is a go. We still only have two nurses, and really there's three nurse rooms, but looks like this nurse, I think, is going to go over to the ward here, which is grand. So morale is good. Still need more staff, and we need to level up our hospital. Now I can just hire some more people, just whatever. Oh, if nothing else, I'm going to go ahead and hire two janitors. Oh, let's get you, because you can upgrade and ghost bust. And I will hire uh, Barbara Vape over here. We get it, you vape! Get you down there for a little bit more cleaning that increases our level and everything too. Do we, I mean, I don't know if we want to rush to next room. I guess a staff room would be good, especially if we care about morale. Do I want to build a huge one? I don't know. Let's just build one right here for now. How, where do I, how do I want to lay out this one? Put you there. We'll have another sofa here. Nice coffee table. You know what, we'll put it right in the middle. And you can get your own drinks machine, and you're gonna get a non-salty salt snack machine. And go. Nice. Okay. We can upgrade our easy scan to make it more efficient. That is true. We may as well do that. How much money we got? Well, we got enough money. It's ten thousand bucks. Let's do it. Oh, I didn't realize the beds even like scrooch down a little as people get in and out. Ah, that's so nice. It's funny, when you mouse over it, like, they, their legs aren't, like, highlighted or rendered or something in the bed. <laughs> they just look like they've been amputated below the knee. It's kind of creepy. So you don't have a diagnosis yet. We're waiting for another nurse over here. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and hire one more nurse. Get you done. Staff done. We just need a one more level, which mostly we can probably do with another room. We did just heal someone, which is lovely. Mm, what are we going to plan for next? Possibly the Deluxe Clinic. Seems to be one of the diseases that we'll get fairly early here. Let's get you ready to go over here, and we'll have another room of some kind in that spot afterwards. There we go. Then anyway, you can look at the patient while you turn it on. Make sure they're seated the right way around. And boom. Ooh, we lost a little bit of staff morale level here. Yep, we did. Staff promotion. Tell you what, let's give you a bigger rise, pay rise, so that you can get a higher morale, maybe bring up the overall level. No? Oh, there we go. Training unlocked. Great news! The two-point health ministry has granted us training license. This allows us to train staff in all our hospitals. Building a training room will allow you to run a training course. Staff with a free training slot can go on a course to learn a new qualification. Let's do it. Oh, beware clowns! No! Flottering has had a bit of a problem recently. Clowns! They're everywhere. Apparently, they just they keep escaping from the traveling circus. Their hijinks can be a real nuisance. We'll need some new equipment to deal with them. The Orb Foundation have a patented method for recalibrating the minds of clowns, supporting their rehabilitation back into society. They have offered to supply us with the necessary equipment if we can demonstrate our ability to mold our own staff. Mold? <laughs> Sounds a bit sinister to me, but who am I to judge? Like, molding that way, you would be M-O-L-D, right? I wonder if it's an actual typo or like... An intentional thing. All right, training room. Three by three. So, okay, we got a presentation area. Oh, and a little desk. Let's have a... I guess we can fit in plenty in here. Okay, let's leave it at that. I'm gonna say okay. You know what this sort of reminds me of? Is the, the training room in like Fallout... Fallout 3? You know, where you're watching movies 
and I think you're, you're deciding your special traits then, something like that. To start a training course, click on the lectern or drop a suitable member of staff into the room. Staff will also require training when they're ready. We'll also request training when they're ready. In the training screen, select the qualification you want the staff to learn. Assign a trainer and select the staff you wish to send on this course. When you're ready, click on the start button. When picking a trainer, you can use your own staff, choosing one of their qualifications to teach, or you can pay extra to bring in a guest trainer. I gotta, I gotta move this because it wasn't flush against the wall. Okay, there we go. So, did you know you can view a list of all the staff in the character tab? Yada, yada, yada. Okay. So, Whoa, courses available. Select a course. So we could treat one, train with one of our doctors with um, psychiatry, but something that might be good is training everyone for motivation, for more speed or stamina training. Training is trained. So we have two people who already have this. So let's say I want to do stamina training. I could choose someone who've already got, who's got that skill. So let's say Jeff Dredd over here. And then we can teach it, these people have slots, Dr. Olive Squirm and Barbara Vape can both learn this, so they'll need to take fewer breaks. Estimated training, so almost a couple of months over here where presumably they won't be eligible otherwise, but that's okay. And then we won't have, a, yeah, we won't have a doctor here. We may need to hire an extra person while things are busy or some doctors will move around. It's probably fine to just hire another doctor. Let's, uh, let's get ourselves a psychiatrist, because I'm thinking that's what we're going to need for the clowns anyway. Whenever they show up and they start looking creepy creepy. We don't have a pharmacy yet. And this guy's not having any fun. Right? Oh, no, 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 we do have a pharmacy. Let's say, hold on, that doesn't sound right. So, psychiatry lab. In today's headlines, lottery winner Arthur Compass has announced there you go. winning looking away. jackpot eh. hasn't changed him one bit. He made this announcement floating over Krogan there we go. in his new gold-plated hovercraft, just like he's always done. We can upgrade our drug mixer and make it more effective. Uh, I don't know if that takes that out of commission while it's happening. Still, it might be a good idea. On the other hand, our good janitor is currently being trained. Actually, both of our janitors are currently being trained. So we'll wait up on that. We do have a doctor that can train, in, that can do psychiatry. We just have them busy in the other room right now, and that's okay. We're sorry for the litter that you dropped on our floor. Oh, there we go. I think we can make an odd, si odd shaped room. Oh no, we already have a deluxing room, don't we? Yes, right over there, hold on. Uh, cancel. I feel like I'm missing something. Well, we don't have cardiology yet. We don't have a pans lab yet. We'll get a note, presumably, when we need that. Mystery guts. Nihilistic semicolon. And we've got another promotion over here. Dirk baffle. More training slots. Okay. So yeah, we'll be taking a lot more direct control over our staff. Maintenance and announcement. Plants need water. Speaking of plants, can we get one in here without blocking anything? I wonder, I think we can probably, yeah, I was going to say get one right there. I'm going to put a bin just outside the room, right over there. And one in the corner over here, as well as a plant. Looks like we've got someone waiting for psychiatry, which is, I guess, why we had the pop-up here. Now, he's going to get impatient at some point. We'll give him somewhere to sit. And there's a big queue over here as well. Yeah, maybe we should hire another doctor real quick. We can get a max rank person. They could also train us a bunch of things. That's actually might be a good investment. Obviously, again, we can recruit trainers when needed, but it might be a good idea to have more of them in-house. Is there... Pause, 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 pause. I don't know if there's a key to pause. What is this? can't click on it or select it. I'm assuming a janitor can take care of whatever the heck that is? Yeah, we might want another GP's office. That is not a terrible point, actually. Maybe I'll build one over here. Let me do that. Add to the room right over there. There we go. Um, door, office desk. Here, let's put it off in the corner. Filing cabinet. Build a large room and fill in with interesting objects. We'll increase the happiness. Yep. Or the level. Clown clinic unlocked. Oh, it's its own clinic. Oh, we had to wait till we train someone. That's right. 
Uh, let's get a bookcase in here. There we go. Prestige level two. Dr. Squirm is unable to get where they want. Yeah, I think they were just temporarily confused or something. Oh, do you have a mission for me? I can probably click on these. Whoa. Have you considered promoting some of our staff? Promote three staff. Okay, I will accept that. New illness discovered, monobrow. That's right, we've seen that before. And the circus incident, cure seven patients with the just infection. It's, they, they just have an infection, that's all. Clown clinic needs to be four by four. I guess no matter what, we're gonna have to do something kind of like that. Man, this is gonna have to be huge. Uh, it, okay, it's got a circus tent. Let's... It's prestige level 2 already. Dehumorifier. Ah, I see. Let's decorate it some more. We'll get a couple of windows. Although maybe we shouldn't have windows because clowns are creepy and who wants to look at clowns? And we'll put a bin in the room. And some posters. There you go. Prestige level three. Oh my god, there's a huge queue. Huge queue. I don't know if they had to... Maybe they've already been diagnosed, actually. That might be it. Okay, someone's still unable to get where they want. How do we know where they're trying to get to? Another really good person here. That's been taken care of. I'm tempted to start a new training session. Um, trained. So we can look at people who, you know, who can be trained in something. Getting up to next level ward management might be nice. No, uh, no one available. We can't even hire someone for that? Really? So if I do treatment... So, okay, Pharmacy Magnet, there's one trained, but we can do a guess. Why can't we, for ward management, get anyone? That's kind of annoying. Training Masterclass makes them super good at teaching. Hmm. Choose one of our lower level doctors train the nurse for diagnostic. That sounds kind of handy, actually. So we'll try to have something running most of the time. Doctor is required in psychiatry. I don't know if anyone's still pathfinding stuck. Health inspector is arriving. It looks like we could possibly use a redundant assistant. I'm not sure. Ooh. Got some really skillful people to keep people happy. Thinks mustard. Uses mustard like butter. Something wrong with that person. And a doctor with diagnostic skills. Sure. Let's get you in there. All these clowns. I think, so the thing above their heads, I think, represents people who are um, used for a course. Yeah, I guess speaking, or not a course, uh, one of the, um, the challenges is what I mean. And nurse shortage is happening. Okay, well, you'll go to one of these at least. Oh, we need a deep panning clinic. Oh no! Let's buy an extra location. 30 grand. Boom. Oh, it takes a while to build, I forgot. Uh-oh. We might have to send the deep panners away. You were thirsty. Okay. Where are you trying to get to? Treatment failed. You were a VIP. You're clearly not trying to get there. Are you trying to get to one of these little stations? Or a seat? Or a toilet? I don't know where they're trying to get. Dang. And there are some people over here complaining about being um, thirsty and possibly hungry as well. And if you sign up for our store card, you'll get our exclusive one-time use Crumley can opener. So come on down. And we'll get them a source of fun as well. A leaflet stand. That's not a leaflet stand. 
sell you items. Leaflet stand. There we go. Excellent. Okay, health inspector buzzing around. We can start another course, so let's... Oh no, they're still happening. Never mind! Career goal earned. Earn a million dollars. Wow. Yes, we need a pans lab. I know. Staff promotion. Promote you. Excellent. This is now done. Let's pause for a second while we build the pans lab. 4x4 four four size. Okay, that'll be okay. You're gonna go here. And no station required. You're level 2 prestige right from the bat. I guess that's gonna be okay. And you are gonna need a doctor. Sure, I'll hire another one right away. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll hire more of the low-level ones, because then we've got people who can probably promote very quickly and complete some of these quests. A little bench right there. Okay, you can go ahead and unpause. Uh, where are you trying to get? All right, people are in here. This seems fine. I need the warning to, like, be a little bit more evident. Could it be something with these chairs or that? Maybe this bookshelf is blocking stuff. Oh, my God. There is something under... Are they bookworms? Oh, hold on. I had a targeting view. Oh! Okay, I can't do it while paused. Uh, did you just slip and fall on whatever the heck this is? I don't understand what's happening! <laughs> ah, love it. Alright, you guys are being cured. So we did fail to cure a couple of clowns, but I mean, we don't have 100% fail or success rate, so it's always going to be a bit of an issue. You have gone and kicked off. And you're still running the course. Man. Okay, we don't have a timer on the train, so that much is okay. We have the ghost out there. I think we have a janitor who can take care of that. Health inspector is now leaving the hospital. Unable to get where they want. It feels like people are having trouble leaving for some reason. Except you're out here. No, no, you're fine. Were you you? No. Different at VIP. So it's one of the clowns. Couldn't get where they wanted to go. Also, we have mimes over here. Very nice hospital. All right, that much is good. Oh, there you go. Finally soaking things up. I think you're pretty miserable. Your happiness is extremely low. You're super thirsty. Now, I will go ahead and put a drinks machine over in this side of things, and a snack machine. And we'll get a, a bin over here as well. I probably installed something backwards. Maybe the bin is blocking the hand dryer? That person did not wash their hands. Overpaid. Underpaid. Pay review. Wait, can I manually promote you? All right, you'll be a little happier. Pick up fire. Take a break, pay review. No, I don't think so. Maintenance Need someone over there. Oh, we can run a new class. So, trainees too. Well, we don't necessarily need more psychiatrists. More diagnostic skills could be really handy though. If we can diagnose people with higher success and certainly faster, that would be nice. Um, I could spend a lot of my, tell you what, I'm gonna get Dr. Gregory Mouse, huh, that's funny, to go and train people in diagnostic. Just that way, um, I won't use one of my staff to, like, they won't, like, lose out on stuff. I only need to train, well, one more person to finish this, but it's still got to be handy to go and train all these people. Is this the thing that people can't reach? 
because there was I can't reach this command on there. I wonder if it's something with these hallways being too thin. You've got a giant queue over here. And yet, in the meanwhile, we're going to be understaffed because I'm training too many people. Hmm. Maybe I overdid it. It'll be a good long-term investment, though. Hey, what could possibly go wrong? Ooh, that is not placed correctly. There we go. Upgrade our drug mixer. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that now. Boom. We have big, giant queues everywhere. I mean, I guess that means we just have so many patients. More than we can handle, but... As long, you know, our reputation is still going up. Special report. We cured most of the clowns. Circus is very pleased. Promote you as well. I wonder if the pay issue had to do with um, people getting uh, training. Oh, salary. See how satisfied they are. Uh, staff are promoted and trained. Yeah, so people got trained and were expecting a higher salary. Indicate their satisfaction. To quickly give pay rises to all people who feel underpaid, use the satisfy pay request button. Oh, right here. Okay, that is handy. And then job assignments. See which staff members are qualified to carry out which type of job in the hospital and control who is allowed to do each job. For example, if you only want your best staff to work in the GP's office, you can disable that job for junior staff. So for psychiatry right here, yes, now, what kind of, so people are learning diagnostics. You're super good at diagnosis. I mean, you're also pretty good at training, but like, I might say, don't, don't do pan stuff. Don't do deluxe. Work in the GP's office. A lot of patients queuing outside a room, run by doctors. Yeah. There's tons of people queued up everywhere. Well, worst case scenario, we lose some reputation. You know? We'll finish the training. It's going to be okay. Uh, there's a request to promote one more staff member. You know what? I will actually hire another junior doctor or something. Again, the idea is hopefully they'll get enough XP soon to be able to do something else. Oh, training is complete! At least for someone. Someone finished their training. Maybe only train one at a time? Or some people train faster than others? I don't know. Huh. Okay, you have been upgraded. That's great. You can't be upgraded. I think it, it keeps reminding us about these things, so it's going to be okay. I think there's one more clown left, because I think there were seven originally. Although I can't see them. I'm assuming this is going to go away at some point. If nothing else, the clown campaign will end just from, you know, progress of days. Yeah, no, there's a queue. GP office. I've got a second one, but there's a queue at this one, too. We just got so many patients so fast, plus probably we'd taken a lot of doctors off the job. Oh, there's another clown over there. Quite a few. Kind of creepy. You can adjust the break policy for each staff type. Yes. I did know that. Yeah, that is a sick, sick queue. Janitor required. If it gets below 50%, it'll get maintained automatically, but we could call one just to speed things up and make sure that it doesn't break down at the wrong time. The ward is nowhere near full, so that one's okay. I guess I should build another GP's office. Maybe I'll build one over here. Let me move that trash can aside. I want, like, a million filing cabinets in this room. This is a room that doubled as our, um, our archives, and then some unlucky doctor was assigned here. Get some bookshelves. We can cover up the windows. There you go. Got it to level three. Hooray! We can upgrade our Deluxe Olux. Can we now? Right here. Let's do it. I'd love to have a really big plush staff room. So you want a level four staff room. All right, we'll work on it actually, and you can get promoted. <gasps> Kudo 
Studios, One Star Hospital. Uh, you're getting right. The goodness I see and showing signs of an ability to develop staff from within. How terribly promising, which is to say, how terrible. Stay there, nurture this fledgling talent or abandon it. I'll move on to pastures new in our chilly northern region. Okay, well, let's keep going for a little bit longer here. What I'm going to do is oh, clown poster unlocked. Oh, good. That's what I want is clown posters. We're going to do that. And I guess I could build a big staff room over here. So let's do that. Big, huge one. Because if I recall from last time, getting to level four seemed to be pretty hard. You put you there. Put you over there. Drinks machine. Stacks machine. Stofa, Stofa. And... You know, do we have enough points? Oh, we can get a snack, a salty snack machine. To unlock... Okay, dart boards. I want an arcade machine. Oh, we're just shy! Dang it! A punching bag, that's cool. Exercise frames. Mmm... And you know what? We'll get a dartboard. It probably leads to injuries, but hey, that'll give us work. We'll partially block the window, that's fine. Uh, clown poster. It's like clown anatomy. Kill them by hitting them here. Lightheaded poster. We're gonna get some plants. And a bin, actually. Let's get a bin by the door there. And right there. And a bunch of plants in the middle. Boom, level four. Done! <gasps> Awards! Let's go and see. What are we gonna get? Well, we know now just to open them all at once. We might get some awards for most improved with all this training. Boom, 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 boom. Rising Star. That seems to be the one we get all the time. Staff challenge. We have completed that. Excellent. And we're gonna get some extra happiness going on. Very nice big staff room. Got another, yeah, big GP's office over here. And it is being worked. I'm able to get where he wants. I don't know what we have blocked here. I'm sure someone in the comments will let me know. But at this time, I am unaware. So to get to a two-star hospital, we'd have to train more staff, promote more staff, and just get the hospital level 10. Okay. View a list of discovered disease in the characters tab. Can we? Oh yeah, illnesses and curates and stuff like that. Oh. So we've been very bad at curing just infections, as it turns out. Now, it is a very hard disease to deal with. We can't promote you. Now, we could assign better people to the room, I suppose. That might be part of it. Where are you trying to go? Tell me! I'm wondering, you know what? I'm wondering if people are just having a hard time getting to a fun object like this. Look how busy it is. Let me put it in the middle of the hallway so that four people can get to it simultaneously. And we'll get a bookcase as well. Because I think that might be it, because you can get to this from all four sides. And people are trying to get the ones that they can reach, and then they try to get to the one that's, like, against the wall. I wonder if that might be the thing. So, I mean, queues are bad, but they're also good, because it means our hospital is popular. No, nope. I cannot get somewhere. Well, I don't know. Sorry, not sorry. Massive queue here, too. I guess another GP's office would probably be the best thing to do. Get one over there. Another desk. Filing cabinet. Done. Never enough doctors. You go to a hospital, all you do is sit and wait, wait, wait. It's terrible. I don't like my randomly assigned plants, but you know what? I don't know. This one here is bothering me. Don't mind me. I just like talking into a microphone. <laughs> That's a good announcement. There you go. Something like that. And you're complaining about not being able to get somewhere. Or someone can't get here. Are there just people in your way? I wonder if it's pathfinding issues because there's there's just so much crowding. Oh, there's a huge crew outside psychiatry, yeah. All right. 
And the thing is, we'll probably be notified about more queues outside of treatment rooms now than before. Because we are going to diagnose people a little faster. Well, I mean, it hasn't really kicked in yet, but so many books. Okay. Train more staff. Maybe, maybe I will just train, you know, one at a time or something. Uh, we have three psychiatrists. We can't do psychiatry too. No, we can. All right. Oh, but no one can learn it. Oh, they, because they may not have a slot. A couple people could learn next level diagnostics, which is probably an okay idea. Now, three people can actually. Sure. Although, I guess people have a limited amount of, um... Are you out of energy or something? Yeah, you're gonna need a break soon. Yeah, you've been working hard. Um, I guess people have a limited number of slots that they can learn from. Patients unhappy the hospital is storming out. The top complaint was desperate for the toilet, very bored, ugly environment. Hmm. Well, we got more books. Should we get a dartboard out here? Oh, it doesn't look like I put a dartboard just anywhere. And maybe we should build another toilet over here. Boom, boom, boom. And a sink. And a hand dryer. Okay. You don't have doctors here. I think the money situation's okay. I don't know if, if it's been dipping up or down too much. Is this a diagnosis? Yes? Good. Let's get you here. And yeah, these people are bored. I guess there's not much in the way of fun over on this end of things. Looks like the healthcare branch of the holistics company, known to some as hemp, is Where'd that little critter go? Apparently elixir. Are you looking through the garbage? Are you vomiting in there? Ew! You know what we haven't hired in a while? More janitors. Well, I guess it should cure one ill at least. Ooh, ooh. Doctor patient confidentiality is not practiced in this hospital. <laughs> Doctor patient confidentiality is not practiced in this hospital. Amazing. So they've got some books they can grab. I will go and put a leaflet stand over here as well. That's easy to get to. And people are complaining about the beauty, so we should probably have more plants. Might not hurt to have a plant in every room, to at least give a little greenery everywhere, you know? Even centered in a room like this might not be a terrible idea. You can beautify the toilets. Boop. Doctor's room. We could have some through the halls as well. there. One in there. Okay, we got mail. Staff promotion. Sure, we will do that. We should probably take a look at our staff at the pay requests as well. Oh, no one's got any pay requests. 100% satisfied. Nice. Staff challenge. Earn 200,000. That seems to be fairly easy because it's not net money either. I think it's like, you know, just raw revenue, which is fairly easy to do. Got some thirst complaints over there, but they can they can get over here. Still, it seems like more drinks machine may be more better. And we'll put a bookcase over here as well. Is that flush against the wall? I think that's as flush as it gets. Patient is unhappy at the hospital storming out. Their complaint waiting too long. Can you tell me which one it was? That would be handy. Still, we do have insane cues. Lacking a couple of doctors here. higher and that's the treatment there hire another one lots of people running around now we're gonna put a cut in here soon and when we do we're gonna go to the next map which I believe will be the last map health is low and you're still waiting on diagnosis oh man oh man I wonder if we need another reception no there's not there's not really a queue here taking a while for people to get their treatments you need to go to the bathroom 
We've got a couple set up. That plant here is in a little bit of a wonky position. Hold on. Put it up against the wall. There we go. I feel better about that. Visualize. Mm-hmm. We've got this. Yeah, there's just so many people waiting. Someone can't get somewhere. So many people waiting for diagnosis. I guess I should have built more GP offices sooner, but... Hmm. Now, I did expand over here. So let's go ahead and do some more of that. I think what we'll end up doing as well is a... Another one of those specialized diagnosis offices. What are they called? Ger general diagnosis. Although that's not where the queue is happening, but maybe they can just still do more. Let's do this. We're going to go and upgrade the easy scan machine as quickly as possible. Yeah, people are queuing up over here instantly. Case. Drinks machine. Bin. Okay. Unable to get where they want. I'm still thinking it might be things like garbage cans where people are standing around them. It might just be pure busyness. I don't know. So hard to tell. Is there any training going on right now? No, there isn't. Yeah, let's get some Diagnostic 2 going on. We're going to use a guest trainer to save a person, and I'm only going to train two people at a time. One doctor, one nurse. Go. We'll get them to diagnose faster in the future. Diagnosis, plus 44%. Lots of progress towards being diagnosed, I guess. So now you're going to drown our diagnosis. Send the treatment a little faster if we suspect what might be the cause, not actually wait for the final one. You're bashing that. We've got a bit of a bathroom complaint over here, so let's go ahead and build another toilet. Right there, like that. And a hand dryer. And a sink. Boom. Okay. So each room is each building has got one. We're working on getting more offices for diagnostics. Q4 over there. We are level 10 hospital. Nice. Waiting for more staff promotions. But that will happen in time. Like, staffs just need to get experience from doing things. As far as I can tell, I can't I can't accelerate it. Any other major cues? We've got no warnings. Actually, all the cue warnings have gone away. That's really nice. Our reputation's still high, so we didn't lose too much with people waiting for too long. Just got the one ward, but it's not even full. You know, there's still a fair number of people waiting outside these GP offices, but the number has gone down. But there aren't any available. Consider hiring more doctors. Uh, I think it's just, you know, people are going through breaks and things. I think that the doctors are cycling fairly quickly. There is one in training as well. You're waiting to use the bathroom. Clearly another... Um, clown. It looks like reception gets handled pretty quickly, which is good. Need an extra nurse, although one's been assigned to it. We might want to put a break room... Oh, I thought they were. We might want to put a break room in this building, too. I'm not sure how important that is. I guess we're... Well, yeah, we've only got five nurses here. Boom. Nurse to the pharmacy, that's gonna happen. Yeah, your health is low. So what's your deal, low health? Yeah, you're still not diagnosed. Man. We could just blindly do it. Okay, send for treatment. Health low, estimate a chance of cure. 25% to 99%. We don't know exactly what it is. Lycanthropy? We think you're a werewolf? Wait, what? Promote. New disease. Once thought to be extinct, lycanthropy is making a comeback in dangerous forests across the land. Sufferers get it from direct exposure to light from the full moon, or possibly from door handles. Research is ongoing to discover which. Oh, well, that's good. Staff challenge. Luna Badger. We completed that. 
Um, staff training required. Dr. Jennifer Mullet has gained a lot of experience on the job. They're ready for a promotion to doctor once they've completed some training. New qualification will be will give them increased ability. They currently have this. Okay, training room's not available right now. But we will give you some training as soon as we can. I think someone's about to die. Oh no! Tired of thinking for yourself. So maybe we do have to train all their slots for them to then be eligible to be promoted? I'm not sure. Well, there's a promotion here. Free training. Maximize the potential by training them up in the training room. Maybe I should run a second training room. Or maybe we should make sure to run classes of four every time, despite the fact that it takes a lot of people off our work floor. Man, that does take a long time. Hmm. And we don't have a cardio lab. I, mean, I don't know if that's used for diagnosis or what. Basic diagnosis. Yeah, I guess so. So let's get that. It might help us. You know, more variety of tests may be the fastest way to improve the diagnostic quality of things. Maybe some diseases get diagnosed faster with certain tests. Because, yeah, I kept waiting for it to tell us we needed it, but I guess maybe we don't need it. Wait, we can build a reception room? We have a reception desk. No complaints so far, though, so maybe we won't worry about it. Promote! Promote! Alright, I'm gonna build another training room. Get it to over here. Build that there. go room for five people and we'll put a plant in here there you go level three done so I can train now okay and these are the courses you can learn because you're a janitor so allows you to upgrade machines we do have someone who can do that hey we'll get a second ghost capture so that we can capture them faster and I guess Jeff will train you to do that. Okay. Yay, promotion. Now, you're also waiting for training. Actually, I think you're the one who came up first. We're waiting on quite a few nurses, so let's go ahead and... Hire two more. And we're going to wait for this training room to be done. More people are being declowned. Oh, no, that's a nurse. Humor fire. Hmm. I'm wondering if the mimes get the same treatment. Yeah, you've, you've got an appointment. Oh, rip. Never did get diagnosed properly. Yeah, so maybe the cardio center is going to help. Like, someone is running on there now. So I don't know the mechanic for how diagnostics work. And having different ones. I'm very bored. says I need to relax more find a hobby if you have any suggestions please send them in well we're definitely using those rooms quickly unlocking more fun things seems like it would be a really really good thing I really want the arcade machine maybe I shouldn't have spent my points somewhere else you can get promoted oh train yes we can put you on some sort of course I guess we'll train you on diagnostics too Trained by this nurse, and more people can go on this course. So you know what? I'm just going to go ahead with everyone. There we go. That'll help us finish the training course, but it's also really good. Because it looks to me like the curing people happens very quickly. I guess with the curing skills, the big thing... Oh my god, that's what's happening. Oh no! Oh, we're making the clown sad! Oh, screw clowns. They're terrible. Um, it looks like the cures, like, so you, there's just a, a cure rate. So training that up will make it more likely that it will be successful. But a lot of it is just making people wait too long. Promote three staff. Patient is 
Oh, that'll happen at some point. Waiting for some doctors over here. We've still got tons of money, so it looks like I can go... What's the... GP diagnosis, as opposed to regular diagnostics? I see. Oh. Let's get some more of that, anyway. We do have some more people waiting. There's tons of people in training as part of it. We do have another, um, that's a general diagnostics room. We do have a few more of those. So you're learning about ghost busting. And we can expand the hospital. We got tons of cash. Yay, more potions. How are people happy with their pay? Oh, there we go. We'll make an adjustment over there. Keep them pleased. We don't want them to quit. So we're getting a bit of a backlog on some of the diagnostics again. Promote more. Every time they promote, they get a little bit better at diagnosing as well. I don't know if, like, I think that diagnostic speed is also another thing. But mostly, if we just have to diagnose people less often, that will be handy. We've got the deep hanner, right? Yes, that's what this one over here is. Extract a pan. Good. Wow, your maintenance is low. I think I'm going to get one more janitor here. Ooh, you are... Do we just want to get you? It's another vape! Upgrade machines. Upgrade better. No, tell you what, we'll get you. Done. So many ghosts! Oh, that's because our Ghostbusters are busy training someone else to ghost bust. But it's nearly over. Assuming that is the time required to learn something. Oh, am I misinterpreting how these desks are facing? Apparently so. Now, I don't think that's a problem. I think the others is okay. I think leaving these sideways is fine. More promotions! Okay, we need one more... Ooh, staff challenge. Promote three staff. We need one more staff to get trained. Now, there's already training going on, but we'll start another one over here. I guess so we can choose someone first. That's kind of interesting. So, this head assistant. Let's finish training this assistant in... You already have customer service, don't you? That's weird. So we'll train you in... in training five. And no one else can learn that, but that's okay. We'll get you maxed out in customer assistance. We still have the clown campaign going on for some reason. I'm a little confused by that. Maybe someone got caught in pathfinding hell and then they got kind of lost. The timer's not advancing either. We are playing in a demo, it's pre-release. So, it's not a surprise that some things may break. Are you complaining about pathfinding? No. Maybe? Or is it just janitor required? Maybe you can't reach the back of this thing. Tickets to the rock Let's edit this room. Taking place next month. I admire a station manager's optimism. The most callers we've Let's move you over there just in case there's something weird going on. Maybe being flushing at the wall was bad. Numbered. Well, it's not stopping us from making a ton of money. Let's fast forward. We're going to get to our two-star hospital by completing some training. And then we will move on to the next map in the next episode. Alright, diagnosis. Still a huge queue. I think someone else just died. I think that was the bong. Hey! There we go! Congratulations! Your hospital has been awarded a two-star rating by the Two Point Health Ministry. Greatest success gives birth to greater expectations. Everyone wants their supposedly fair share. I'm curious to see how you cope as hungry employees begin to eat away at you like sock-wearing parasites from within. Best wishes from the whole getting down at Flottering. Yours fragrantly. Tarkin Foxbridge Health Minister. We've unlocked the Dehumorifier de 2 and the Heart Racer 2. So we could queue up an upgrade here, for example, and an upgrade over here, which should both increase our chance of doing things. So we're going to leave it there. At some point, we'll, I'll come back and do the three-star mission. But next episode, we are... And so another day begins in Two Point County. Where Thank you very much, announcer. We're going to be moving on to the next map. <laughs> may soon be able Thanks for to watching. On See you next time. Living people. 
Any budding doctors should remember that gluing heads back on to accidentally decapitated patients is all very well with dummies, but there are no do-overs in real life. It's easy to get lost around tumble, and it's even easier to fall down. That's why authorities recommend only seasoned climbers and hikers visit this beautiful region of Two Point County, or at least people with good health coverage. The rest of us will have to make do with a postcard. <laughs>